ازاي تنجح وتجيب مجموع وانت قاعد على الانترنت اليوم السابع بيقدم اقوى مراجعات نهائيه للثانويه العامه لنخبه من افضل المدرسين اتفرج وذاكر وانجح وجيب مجموع بالفيديو على اليوم السابع اهلا بيكم ابنائنا وبناتنا طلاب وطالبات الثانويه العامه في حلقه جديده من المراجعه النهائيه من اليوم السابع خدمه جديده بنقدمها لطلاب الثانويه العامه على قناة اليوم السابع وموقعه الإلكتروني وعلى اليوتيوب نبدأ لمادة البيولوجي الحلقة الثانية أول سؤال معاني بيقول لنا What would happen in each of the following cases The question asks about the FSH hormone If the secretion of FSH hormone is insufficient The question The secretion of the follicle stimulating hormone F or FSH hormone is sufficiently decreased in the mature human male. The question asks about what is the importance of FSH hormone of the human male. Of course, we understand that the FSH hormone stimulates the formation of seminiferous tubules and its secretion and also the formation of the prostate gland. But the question asks about the human, the mature human male. Of course, that decrease the secretion of the seminiferous tubules or decrease the number of spermes and also that with causing the uh, decrease the activities of the prostate gland. So the answer, the spermes will not produced by the tests and the two tests are uh, 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 inside the two tests and the prostate glands may be atrophied. Atrophied, the atrophy of the prostate gland means that causing a, a degeneration uh, partially of the prostate gland due to the decreasing the amount of FSH hormone. The uh, uh, FSH hormone also in the human, fem human female that responsible for the stimulation of the uh, ovary to produce a gravium follicle and its secretion because the gravium follicle secretes the estrogen hormone. The next what will happen question. Surrounding the ovule in the plants during the formation, the formation completely with the two integuments. We understand that the two integuments surround the embryo sac completely except a certain site which is called the micropyle. Through which the pollen tube passing through it to, for the fertilization of the uh, embryo sac or the uh, zygote, the egg cell to form a zygote and the two embryo sac nuclei to form endosperm and also facilitate the germination of the seed during the uh, germination of the seeds, facilitates the passage of water during through the seed for the germination. But the question asks about the absence of micropyle or the integuments is uh, surrounding the embryo sac completely. That means the absence of micropyle. The question asks about what the importance of micropyle. What would happen if the micropyle is not formed? Of course, no fertilization takes a place due to the absence of micropyle, which act as a site which is not covered with, with the two integuments to allow the pollen tube to passing through it for the fertilization of the uh, egg and the two embryo sac nuclei. The next question. This um, this image explains that the presence of the micropyle. The micropyle that means the part with the embryo sex which is not covered with the uh, uh, integuments, and this uh, uh, embryo sac is not containing the embryo sac. So fertilization takes place in this case, but no fertilization takes place in the next case. In the second case, that due to the absence of the micropyle. The next question: What would happen when the components of the pollen tube are poured in the, into the embryo sac? The components of the pollen tube are poured inside the embryo sac. We understand that when the pollen grain is germinated, the pollen tube is formed and the passing through the tissue of the style to reach the micropyle, which is a part of the embryo sac which is not surrounded by the two integuments. So the pollen tube passing through the tissue to reach the micropyle and the pollen tube degenerates, the pollen tube nucleus degenerates and the two generative nuclei, one of them passing 
to get or to fuse with the egg cell to form zygote and the other is fused with the two embryo sac nuclei to form endosperm that's called the double fertilization so uh, the question is very simple question because the answer is double fertilization takes a place because uh, one of the two male nuclei fused with the egg cell in forming zygote to n which divided to form the embryo to n and the other fuse with the two embryo sac nuclei to N to form the endosperm nucleus 3N. So that means uh, the formation of zygote takes place and the tribal fusion takes place to form endosperm. The formation of zygote and the tribal fusion, both of them are called the double fertilization that takes place. In this image, that explain that the pollen tube and the embryo sac nuclei. The pollen tube to, containing two generative nuclei, one of them is fused with the egg cell and the other one will fuse with the two embryo sac nuclei to form endosperm. So the zygote is divided to form embryo and the, uh, uh, the endosperm is divided to form the tissue that feed the embryo during its development. The next question, what would happen this question asks about the uh, testes of the male reproductive system. If the two testes lie inside the body cavity in man, if the two testes get inside or, or uh, lie inside the uh, body cavities of the man, that means the presence of testes in the temperature of the body. Uh, of course, we understand that the two, uh, egg, the two testes are located in the scrotum or the scrotal sac where the presence of temperature lower than the body temperature that help the testes to produce the sperms. But the presence of testes inside the body where the presence of the body temperature which act as a, a unsuitable temperature so the testes can't produce the sperm so the individual will be infertility or sterility takes the place of the individual. To the answer, that stops the formation of sperm and the man will be sterile. That means the sterility of the man uh, takes a place due to the absence of the sperms because the tests can't form sperms inside the body or of the body temperature. Therefore, the two tests are located on the scrotum sac out body the body where the presence of temperature lowers than the body temperature. The next question, what would happen? that ask about the eggs of the frog exposure of the frog eggs to heat chalk if the eggs of the frog exposed to chocks or exposed to pricking with needle or the presence of certain ions or chemical substance around the egg that stimulates the eggs to develop to produce complete individual without fertilization that's called the artificial parcinogenesis. The artificial parcinogenesis is the ability of the unfertilized egg or ovum to produce complete individual uh, uh, by the interfering of the human being. So the answer the frog's eggs is stimulated and developed to form a new individual without fertilization. That's called the artificial parcinogenesis. Uh, so we understand that the parcinogenesis, two kinds, artificial and the natural parcinogenesis. The natural parcinogenesis that takes place without the interfering of the human being as that takes place in the honeybee and the aphid insect. But the artificial parcinogenesis takes place in the eggs of frog, uh, sea star and rabbits and the great number of living organisms where the uh, stimulation of the egg to develop, to produce complete individual without fertilization, that's called the artificial parcinogenesis. The next is the question. What would happen in each of the following? The question asks about the mid piece of the sperm. We understand that the sperm consists of head, neck, mid piece, and the caudal part or tail. The head containing the nucleus and the acrosome, the nucleus containing the genetic material and the acrosome responsible for the secretion of the hyaluronase enzyme. Uh, the neck region containing the two centrioles that help the zygote to develop after the fertilization. But the mid piece containing the mitochondria. And all of us understand that the mitochondria act as a centers of energy production inside any living cell. So, 
the absence of made peace of the sperm is that means the absence of mitochondria. Absence of mitochondria means the absence of energy that helps the sperm to swim until it reaches the uh, ovum. So the answer, it doesn't get energy for its movement and the ovum is not fertilized. That means no fertilization takes the place of the ovum because the sperms have no any energy to swim to reach the uh, mature ovum. The next question, what would happen in each of the following cases? Treatment of the growing tip of the plant with the mustard gas. If the growing tips of the plant is treated with the mustard gas, nitrous acid, or the colchicin substance, that means the tips uh, or, or the cells of the tips will uh, uh, die and the other cells underneath these cells will grow without the formation of middle lamella. That means if the cell which containing 2N during the interphase, the duplication of the genetic material takes a place. That means the cell containing 2N and 2N. But the cell in the plant normally divided by the formation of middle lamella into two cells. But the absence of middle lamella that will form one cell containing the polyploid or more than 2N. So that will produce uh, seeds or, or produce plant parts with a big in size or fruits with more sweat. So the treatment causes the atrophy and the death of the growing tap cells in the plant where a new tissue regenerated and burns the dead cells. This new tissue may contain some polyploid cell. So that act as a kind of uh, induced the mutation takes place by the human being by using the uh, chemical substance which treat the growing tip as a mustard gas, nitrous acid, and the colchicin to change the 2N into 4N. The next question what would happen? The transplant of gene of the human plant into weight plants. We understand that the leguminous plant, the dicotyledon plants, was the weight plant monocot. The dicotyledon or the leguminous plants containing the certain kind of bacteria which, is, which are called nodular bacteria. The nodular bacteria absorb the nitrogen from the soil, change the nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds that increase the soil fertility and increase the activities of the plant which help the plant to form a protein. So, uh, if we need the weight plant which is not act as a kind of leguminous plant to fixing the nitrogen into nitrogenous compound we can transfer the genes that are responsible for the formation of the uh, nodular bacteria so the weight plant can uh, form the nitrogenous compound that decrease the uh, amount of the uh, chemical fertilizers which causing the pollution of the environment and also that's more expensive but if you Transplant the gene of the leguminous plants into weight plant, the nodular bacteria of the leguminous plant which is transferred to the weight plant. Convert nitrogen gas into nitrogenous compounds that need for the nitrogen, uh, nitrogen fertilizers, so the plant don't need the nitro nitrogen fertilizers uh, that's more expensive and causes the plant pollution in the agriculture area. The next question, what's meant by? Metabolism. What's meant by? Metabolism. Metabolism is the process in which the body benefits from the absorbed digested food materials. That means, you, we, we understand that the metabolism is divided into two uh, kinds of processes. The first is the anabolism and the second is the catabolism. Anabolism means it changes the monomers into polymers as it changes the glucose into glycogen or amino acids into uh, proteins or fatty acid and the glycerol into fats and so on. So that's act as anabolism. But the catabolism burning the food, especially sugar, to release energy or breaking down the food that act as a catabolism. Both of anabolism and the catabolism is called the metabolism. So the metabolism it is the process in which the body benefits from the absorbed food materials. And also we remember that it divided into meat catabolism and anabolism or change monomers into polymers or breaking down the monomers to release energy. The next question what's meant by precardium? Precardium. 
Of course, we understand that the pericardium is the membrane, double membrane containing the serums around the heart that facilitate the pumping of the heart and also protect the heart against the shocks and the against the friction with the lungs and ribs. So, in this image, the pericardium membrane appear, which is around the heart. That's the membrane around the heart. Its function is protect and facilitate the heart beating. Protect the heart against the shocks uh, and also against the friction with the ribs and also against the friction with the lungs. The next question. The next question asks about the premesium membrane. Premesium membrane is the membrane that surrounds the muscle bundle. We understand that a great number of muscle fibers connected together to form the muscle bundle. The muscle bundle is surrounded by the premesium and a group of muscle bundles connected together to form the muscle which is surrounded by the connective tissue. So, the uh, premesium, it is the membrane which is surround the muscular bundle. In this image, this blue membrane that surround the muscular bundle around the bundle or this membrane is called the premesium membrane which surround the bundle which con consists of a great number of muscle fiber. The next question, what's meant by the breathing cycle? Breathing cycle is the cycle where the placental mammals ovary become regularly active or become active for the in the adult female. So it is the periods of the placental mammals. Placental mammals means the higher mammals which are called the eutheria which containing the uh, 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 placenta where the ovary become regularly active in the adult females. We remember that the uh, time of the breeding cycle is annual or one per year as in lion and tiger, uh, uh, lion and tiger sorry. Uh, twice uh, a year means each six months in cats and dogs, frequently the per month or monthly in rabbits and rats. That's a breeding cycle with the period of the mammals or the placental mammals where the ovary become regularly active for the female to produce the ovum. The next question, what's meant by the lethal genes? Lethal genes means genes leads to death. So the lethal gene act as the genetic case which led to stop the growth and death of the quarter of the mem members or offspring in different life stages if they found in a pure state. If you remember that during the example of the sickle cell anemia, the presence of S small, S small genotype that leads to death. So that's act as a lethal gene because that stop the growth and leads to death of a quarter of the offspring. If we remember that, if crossing it takes a place between S capital S small and S capital S small, the offspring will be S capital S capital that act as a normal person. Two individuals, S capital S small, which are called the carrier individuals, but the quarter or, or S small S small that act as an individual die before puberty. The next question. What's meant by the parsinocarpi? The parsinocarpi, you remember that the parsinogens is act as a kind of a sexual reproduction. But the parsinocarpi is not act as a kind of reproduction. That's not uh, represent a kind of reproduction, sexual or asexual. It's not reproduction, but the ovary grow and the change into fruit without the formation of uh, seeds and that takes place without the pollination or fertilization. Uh, in this image, two uh, kinds of uh, the uh, orange, one with two containing seeds, but the other one seedless. The seedless orange is uh, formed as a result of natural parsinocarpi. So, the parsinocarpi, it is the ability of the ovary to develop into seedless fruit without pollination or fertilization. It is the ability of the ovary to develop 
into seedless fruits, means uh, fruits without seeds, that without pollination or fertilization, as that takes a place in banana, orange, pineapples that act as a natural carby, but we can uh, carry out the parsinocarbi artificial parsinocarbi as that takes a place in the tomato, cucumber, and great number of plants. The next question. What's meant by? Law of independent assortment of genes. We understand that Mendel uh, can uh, uh, get or introduce two laws of genetics. The first law, which is called the law of segregation, that explains that when two homozygous individuals are different in a pair of allelomorphic characters are crossed, the dominant character appear in the F1 or the first filial generation, while the two characters appear in the, two gen in the second filial generation in the ratio of three dominant to one recessive. But this question asks about Mendel's second law, which is called the independent assortment of genes. That explains that when two homozygous individuals are different in two pairs of allelomorphic characters are crossed, each pair is assorted at random and, in the, and is inherited independently of the other one. And the ratio in the F2 will be 9, 3, 3, 1, or 3 to 1 for each character. So, the law of independent assortment of genes that is state that when two homozygous individuals are different in two pairs of allelomorphic characters are crossed, each pair is assorted at random and is inherited independently of the other and will appear in the F2 generation or the second filial generation in the ratio of 9, 3, 3, 1 uh, or 3 to 1 for each. So the ratio is 9, 3, 3, 1 but for each character 3 to 1 that means each character is assorted and at random and is inherited independently of the other one. What's meant by anticodon? We remember that the anticodon are the three successive nucleotides in the tRNA that paired with the codon on the mRNA during protein sense. But the tRNA responsible for carrying the amino acids to the ribosome during protein sense. So the anticodon, it is three successive nucleotides on tRNA which carries a certain amino acids to the ribosome during protein sense. So that means the three successive nucleotides on tRNA that complementary with the codons or three successive nucleotides are called codon on the mRNA that represent a certain amino acid that on the ribosome during the protein sense process. This image explains that the AUG which act as the first codon on mRNA, the codon, the anticodon of on the tRNA is U a C and the amino acids that carried on the tRNA is the masculine amino acids. So the question asks about the three successive nucleotides on tRNA which are called the anticode. The next question the next question asks about the genetic code. The genetic code as shown in this image Three successive nucleotides on mRNA represent a certain amino acids. Three successive nucleotides or its travel successive nucleotides on mRNA represent a certain amino acids. So the number of codons of you remember that the mRNA containing four kinds of nucleotides A, C, G, and U. The each three successive nucleotides we can get for the uh, number of the genetic code equal uh, n power uh, three. That means the number the four power three equal uh, uh, sixty four uh, genetic codes. But three of them uh, UAG, UGA and UAA are called the stop codon, where the presence of releasing factor which is certain protein causing the termination of the protein sense. So the number of genetic code equals 61 because the three stop codons can to produce the amino acids. So the amino acids are represented by the number of treble or the 61 genetic codes. And the uh, next question what's meant by?
the pyrimidine. We understand that the um, nitrogenous spaces that form the, the get in the structure of the nucleotides in DNA divide uh, into two uh, kinds of nitrogenous spaces, purine two rings or double rings and the pyrimidine single ring. Double rings as A and G or adenine and guanine, but the pyrimidine single ring as a cymine and cytosine. So the pyrimidine as a group of nitrogen spaces has single rings, as single ring as a thymine and uh, cytosine. The next question, what's meant by? The modification enzymes. Modification enzymes are kinds of enzymes located in a certain kind of bacteria which containing the restriction in the nuclease enzyme where the modification enzymes put missile group on the recognition site means put CH3 on the site where the uh, uh, restriction enzyme cut the DNA into useless pieces or into small pieces. So the modification enzymes are a group of enzymes in the microorganisms are put missile group CH3 to the recognition site of DNA to protect its DNA against the action of restriction enzyme because the restriction enzyme cuts the DNA in a into or in or near the recognition site so the modification enzyme puts the missile group on the recognition site to protect its DNA against the action of the, the restriction enzyme. The next question that's new kind of questions compared between each of the following. The nerve cell and the other body cells. We should understand what's the difference between the nerve cell and the other body cells or the structure of the nerve cell. If you can uh, form the comparison between the nerve cell and the other body of the body cells, the nerve cell consists of uh, a body cell and axon but the other body cells has no the structure of body cells and the axon. The presence of dendrites in the nerve cell and there is no dendrites of the other body cells. The cytoplasm of the or the neuroplasm of the nerve cell containing the nissel granules but the other cells cytoplasm doesn't contain the nissel granules and also the uh, axon of the body cells containing the myelin layer around the nodes and Schwann cells. These cells is not located on the other body cells. The nerve cell can propagate nerve impulses, but the other body cells can't propagate nerve impulses. The uh, uh, nerve cells containing the uh, uh, certain kind of selective permeability of the membrane, which differ of the selective permeability of the other body cells. So the comparison between the nerve cells and the other body cells the nerve cell, the neuroplasm containing the neurofilaments and nissel granules, but in the other body cells, the absence of neurofilaments and nissel granules. The nerve cells can't divide due to the absence of centriole, but the presence of centriole in the other body cells help the other body cells to divide. It has dendrites and axon. There is no dendrites of axons of the other body cells. It has myelin layer and Schwann cells in the case of nerve cells. But in the other cells, there is no myelin layer and Schwann cells. The presence of nodes and RAMV of RAMV, RAMV nodes is a part of the axon which is not covered with myelin layer. But in the other body cells, there is no myelin layer and also there is no the presence of RAMV nodes. It can to propagate nerve impulse. It can propagate nerve impulse or produce the nerve impulses with the action potential equal 110 millivolt. That's not uh, propagated in the other cells. So the other body cells can to propagate nerve impulses. The presence of synapse between cells, between the nerve cells and the ner other nerve cells, the presence of synapse, but there is no synapses in the other body cells. It is divided into sensory, motor, and connector neuron, but the other body cells is not divided into sensory motor or connector that act as a comparison between the nerve cells and the other 
by the cells. So the uh, nerve cells can propagate nerve impulses and they can't divide with the other body cells they can divide and they can't propagate nerve impulses and the other uh, uh, point of comparison between the nerve cells and the other body cells. This comparison acts as a very simple uh, comparison because we can explain the structure of the nerve cell uh, where the, uh, this structure is not located in the other body cells so, so we can form a great number of points of comparison between the nerve cell and the other body cells. The next question compare between frontal and occipital lobe of the brain. The brain consists of five lobes, frontal lobe, occipital lobe, the parietal lobe and the temporal lobe and the, the uh, fifth lobe that below the frontal and the parietal lobe. Uh, so the comparison between the frontal lobe and the occipital lobe. What about the centers in this part and what about the center that located on the occipital lobe? Occipital lobe. The comparison, the frontal lobe uh, at the frontal region of the cerebellar cortex in this part or the frontal uh, region of the brain cortex while the occipital lobe as a dorsal region of the frontal lobe. The uh, uh, frontal lobe containing the centers of voluntary movement, memory and speech but the occipital lobe containing the vision center. So if the frontal lobe is subjected to shock that means the man, the, the uh, uh, voluntary movement, memory and species will affect it of this uh, patient. But in the other case, of if the occipital lobe, occipital lobe is subjected to shock, that means the, man, the vision uh, sense will be affected by this uh, accident or the damage of this part leads to the blindness or the absence of these uh, vision centers. The next point. This comparison explains or what the difference between the tissue culture and the embryo culture. Tissue culture means the body the, that takes a place in the plants but the embryo culture takes a place in animals. The tissue culture means the cells of the uh, tissue culture. These cells can uh, divide to produce complete uh, plant parts, but in the other uh, part of the embryo culture, the embryonic tissue can develop to produce uh, 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 to produce complete individual. The tissue culture that uh, can solve the uh, food problem, propagate the uh, certain kinds of uh, plants, and also uh, the uh, tissue culture can uh, shorten the life of uh, the time of cultivation. So in this stage, in this comparison, the tissue culture, small piece of the plant or animal grow and develop into full carrot plant in the nutritive medium. We can carry out the tissue culture in a certain organ of the animals as the pancreas and liver. Uh, but the embryo culture the, uh, that takes place by separating the cells of early embryonic stages and culture each cell in a female uterus produce complete individual. That means when the embryonic tissue divided into many kinds of cells, we can divide the cells into pieces and put each piece in the uterus female and that develop to produce complete individual that act as a kind of a sexual reproduction because they produce from single uh, parent only. But the tissue culture is a uh, uh, small pieces that get in the certain nutritive substance as the presence of carrot in the coconut milk which, uh, which containing all the nutritive substance that need by the plant. Uh, the tissue culture is, is very important for the propagating of rare plants, solve food problem, shorten of the time of cultivation as that of the carrot and tobacco plants. But the imperial culture importance is the propagation of rare animals it's kind of a sexual reproduction as that takes place in rabbit and mice. So that is a comparison between the tissue culture and the embryo culture. Both of them act as a kind of a sexual reproduction. The next question, compare between follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone. FSH hormone and LH hormone. Both of them are secreted from the pituitary gland or the anterior lobe of pituitary gland and both of them 
uh, uh, responsible for the uh, uh, development of the uh, reproduction in male and female. In female, it stimulates the ovary to produce gravium follicle to secrete sterogen and it secretes the pituitary gland during the proliferation. But in the female, the, uh, uh, the, the, the LH hormone stimulates the gravium follicle to change into corpus luteum by releasing the mature ova. In males, the FSH hormone uh, forms the seminephrosteopules and it is the uh, 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 secretion and also the prostate gland, but LH hormone in the female stimulates the gravium follicle to change uh, the mature ova into corpus luteum which secretes sterogen and the progesterone. Compare between DNA in prokaryotes and the DNA in eukaryotes. We understand that the DNA in prokaryotes act as a circular DNA or main DNA is circular in the shape of circular form but in eukaryotes double helix with two free ends in DNA in prokaryotes that attach to the plasma membrane in, in the prokaryotes, but in eukaryotes there is no uh, DNA attached to the plasma membrane because it's located inside the nucleus and surrounded by nuclear membrane. The attachment point of the uh, DNA in prokaryotes act as a point where the duplication takes the place of DNA, but in the eukaryotes, the in the eukaryotes the attachment of the uh, there is no attachment point, so the duplication in eukaryotes takes a place at any point. On the other hand, the uh, DNA in prokaryotes containing a plasmid in prokaryotes, but in eukaryotes there is no plasmids. DNA in prokaryotes is uh, not complex with protein, but complex with protein in the eukaryotic cells. Uh, that's the first part where the uh, structure of the DNA, but during the transcription we understand that the uh, one RNA polymerase is uh, uh, responsible for the formation of the three kinds of the uh, RNA polymerase, RNA kinds of the three kinds of RNA uh, by one or single RNA polymerase in prokaryotes, one eukaryote, in eukaryotes three RNA polymerase to form three kinds of RNA. The transcription in the prokaryotes and the translation takes place at the same time in cytoplasm, in cytoplasm but transcription takes place in the nucleus and the translation in cytoplasm in eukaryotes. The prokaryotes as the bacterium cells, but the eukaryotes as the animal cells. In this point of the comparison, it's in to the uh, ends of the uh, DNA in prokaryotes is jointly together uh, to form the circular DNA, its ends are joined to form circular DNA, but in eukaryotes the ends are not joined. Not complex with protein in prokaryotes, but complex with protein in eukaryotes. Attached to the plasma membrane in prokaryotes is not attached to the plasma membrane in eukaryotes. It is duplicated at the attachment point in the prokaryotes, but it's duplicated at any point in eukaryotes. Uh, in prokaryotes the genome have plasmids, but there is no uh, plasmids in eukaryotes. The point number six, most of the genome is codon in prokaryotes, but 70% codon and 30% non-codon in eukaryotes. It's replicated at the point attached to the plasma membrane in prokaryotes, but in, at any point in eukaryotes. The transcription takes place by a single RNA polymerase to form three kinds of RNA in prokaryotes, but three RNA polymerase form three kinds of RNA in eukaryotes. Transcription and the translation takes a place in cytoplasm at the same time. That means during the transcription of the mRNA, if the 5' prime end of the mRNA, which starts with the start codon AUG, that form it, the ribosome start to uh, uh, translate the mRNA during its transcription. Uh, but transcription is completed in the nucleus and translation in cytoplasm takes place in eukaryotes. Example in prokaryotes as E. coli bacteria, but in eukaryotes as animal, animal cell. Uh, that's the diagram which explains the DNA in prokaryotes and the DNA in eukaryotes. The next question. Ask about the compare between the kidneys in lower vertebrates and the kidneys in the higher vertebrates. In lower vertebrates, the kidney act as a long, thin kidney along the uh, vertebral column as the sides or uh, uh, as the both sides of the vertebral column, that as that in fish. 
This part is the kidney. The kidney is a long tube, thin long tube, extended on the both sides of the vertebral cord. But in the higher vertebrates, the kidney is more thicker and fleshy. Exist behind the protonium membrane, which lines the abdominal cavity. But in this case, thin, long uh, kidney that extended on the both sides or two sides of the vertebral cord. That's a comparison between the lower vertebrates, lower vertebrates as a uh, fish, amphibia, and reptiles, but the higher vertebrates as uh, uh, animals or the mammals. The next question. The next question choose from column B what's suitable for column A. Column A, deoxyribonuclease enzyme, DNA helicase, number 3 DNA polymerase, number 4 reverse transcriptase enzyme, number 5 ligase enzyme, number 6 restriction endonuclease enzyme, number 7 RNA polymerase. But the column B, number A, repair defects in DNA. This part is connected with the DNA ligase enzyme in number 5. So, the answer of the multiple choice. The uh, first one, the oxyribonuclease enzyme, that degenerate DNA completely and do not affect protein or RNA, if you remember. Number two, DNA helicase that separates the two, two strains of DNA by breaking down the hydrogen bonds between the nitrogen spaces. Number three, DNA polymerase, add, nucleotide, as, add new nucleotides in the direction of the three ends. Number four, reverse the transcriptase enzymes that transcribe DNA from RNA that act as a reverse transcription. Number five, the ligase enzymes that break down the certain, uh, that repair the defects of DNA that act at the enzymes that repairing DNA defects. Number six, uh, restriction enzymes that break DNA in a certain place. Number seven, RNA polymerase that transcribe the mRNA from DNA. That's the answer. A with C, 2 with B, 3 with E, 4 with G, 5 with A, 6 with D, and 7 with F. You can answer the uh, uh, match question by this answer, 1 with uh, dots, 3 with and so on. The next question, choose from the column B what's suitable for the column A. Column A, pancreasimin, number uh, 2, cortisone, number three pepsin, number four gastrin, number five thialine, number six peptidase, number seven lipase, number eight lactase, number nine anthrokinase. The answer in the, in the other column B, activate trypsinogen into trypsin. That is the, 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 that's the anthrokinase enzyme. Uh, does on lactose, that's the lactase enzyme number eight. Change fatty, emulsified into fatty acids, that's the lipase number seven. It's changed starch into maltose, that thialine enzyme secreted from the saliva glands. Uh, uh, activates stomach glands, that's the gastrin in the uh, uh, number four. Change the polypeptide into amino acids, the peptidase. Number G, change protein into polypeptide, that is the uh, bepsin or trepsin, bepsin in the, K in the point number three. Um, it is secreted from the duodenum, that's the bancariozymin and secretin, number one bancariozymin. Uh, number, uh, uh, the last point number I, it's secreted from the adrenal cortex, which is called the cortisone. So the answer appears in this four. Uh, 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 the pancreas number, which is the act as a yellow color, that's an H secreted from the duodenum, and the cortisone uh, 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 is uh, uh, secreted from the adrenal cortex. Bepsin, uh, that change protein into polypeptide, the gastrin, that's activated stomach, and so on. That's the answer of the matching question. The next question. Uh, what are the uses of the human genome? What are the uses of the human genome? 
Number one, identifying the gene which causes a rare and common hereditary disease. Number two, identifying the gene which causes this ability of the organs uh, to perform its activities. Number three, produce the preparing of drugs without the side effect. Number four, studying the evolution of the living organisms by comparing the human genome with the genome of the other living organisms. The fifth point, improving the offspring by identifying the defect genes of the fetus before it is born and how to be treated, which act as a gene therapy. That means by removing the defect gene or the gene which causing the uh, which containing the defects and replaced with the other gene. The next question, in this diagram, which act at the shoulder or the pectoral girdle, check the opposite diagram and the answer is the following. Number A, write the labels of the diagram. Number B, what are the bones that attach, that connected with the bone B? Number C, does these form part of the upper right or left arm and explain? The first part, which is the labels, Number A, which act as a clavicle bone. Number B, humerus. Number C, the scapula. So the number B, the humerus. Number C, is the clavicle, is the scapula bone. A, clavicle. B, humerus. C, scapula. Number B, uh, the bones that connected with the bone B. Bone B is the humerus that connects with the lower arm, which form it of two bones, radius and ulna the radius which is moved around the fixed ulna and they end with the eight carbons in two rows and the eight carbons connected with the metacarbons five bones each end with the finger consists of five phalanges except the thumb which consists of single uh, uh, which consists of two phalanges on so the answer of b the lower, the lower arm of two bones which are radius and ulna end with the wrist consists of eight carbons that are attached to the lower part of the radius while their lower end uh, that attached to the palm which consists of five metacarbons followed by five fingers each will made each uh, is made of three phalanges except the sum two only uh, does this uh, uh, from the part of the upper right or left arm of course that act as a upper left arm because the outer end of the scapula or the glenoid cavity directed towards the left side of the human body so act as the left arm not the right one the uh, next question is a genetic problem uh, the genetic problem uh, that uh, explain on genetic basis in a certain uh, kind of the is a certain character of the drosophila fly when two homozygous individuals are different uh, in a pair of allelomorphic characters are crossed half of the offspring carries the dominant character while the other half carrying the recessive one explain on genetic basis uh, uh, we understand that Mendel explained as the first law in two homozygous individuals are different in two pairs of in one pair of allelomorphic characters are crossed the dominant character appears in safe one but in this question that explain when two homozygous individuals are different in a pair of allelomorphic characters are crossed the two characters appear in the f1 in the ratio of one to one that means this character is not act as a normal character it is linked character or sex linked character that appear in the answer of this genetic problem the case is six linked character the inheritance of eye color of Drosophila fly. We remember that the sex linked character is the color blindness, hemophilia, the muscles atrophy which act as a lesser gene and the eye color of Drosophila fly. So when red eyes male X are capital Y crossed with the white eyes female X are small are small uh, the male is pure because we understand that in the case of the sex linked character all males are uh, 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 pure in the uh, sex linked character in the men and Drosophila fly and the other mammals. So uh, the male produce two gametes XR capital and Y, but the female produce one gamete XR small. So the offspring produce XR small Y and XR capital R small. So the males or all the males of the offspring 
will be uh, white as males, but the females, all of them, impure uh, uh, red uh, eyes females. So, two homozygous individuals, as a red eyed male and white eyed female, are crossed, but the offspring produce the two characters, the dominant and the recessive, in the case of or in the ratio of one to one. The next genetic problem. The next genetic problem is that marriage of the woman, woman with the group O, with the man with the group A. They have a child explain on genetic basis the phenotype and genotype of the blood groups of the child. Marriage takes place between woman with the O blood group. That means the genotype is O, O. Um, with the man with the blood group A, that means the man may be A capital A capital or pure uh, genotype of your state or A capital O impure. And they have a child explained on genetic basis. So the probability in females there is no probability because the female O capital O capital, but the male has two probability or two genotypes A capital A capital or A capital O. So we explain that the case of this genetic problem is a multiple alleles because act, uh, it's the example of the multiple alleles with the blood groups. The woman genotype is O capital O capital, but the man may be A capital A capital or A capital O. So the crossing between A capital O with OO will produce two individual 50% uh, A impure A and 50% O. But if the man is pure A capital A capital, all the individual in the F1 will be A capital O. That act as a test across. We uh, uh, test the dominant uh, character. Uh, if it pure, 100% of the offspring produced is dominant, but if offspring produced during the test cross or the crossing between the dominant character with the recessive one, produce the two characters in the ratio of one to one. That indicates that the genotype of the dominant the dominant individual is uh, impure. So, if the man pure A capital A capital, all the offspring will be A blood group, but if it's impure, 50% O A and 50% O. The next genetic problem, uh, by hybridization of two flowering EP plant, one with a purple colored flower and the other with a colorless crossing between purple colored plant, flower the plant, and the colorless. Um, or white, red and white, or purple and white, color and colorless, so on. Uh, so the three over eight of the offspring was purple, but five over eight was colorless. Did use the genotype of the parents. That explain on genetic basis. Of course, that's act as a, uh, the complementary genes. Uh, to produce eight individual, we should crossing between the individual can produce four gametes and the other produce the uh, two gametes only. If we need to causing the crossing of the colored flower, the flower, the plant produce four gametes, that means it's A capital A small, B capital B small, that's the only individual produce four gametes. But the other uh, individual with the colorless and the produce two gametes, that means containing A capital only or B capital only. That means the offspring will be A capital, A small, B small, B small as shown in this slide, or A small, A small, B capital, B small. A capital only or B capital only to produce two gametes. So the gametes formed in the four gametes, the A capital, A small, B capital, P small were formed. A capital, B capital, A capital, P small, A small, P capital, A small, P small. And the other offspring, A capital, P small, A small, P small. So the three individual produce in the planet square, A capital, A capital, B capital, P small, A capital, A small, B capital, P small, A capital, A small, B capital, P small, that's the three red individual or colored individual from eight. But the others, a capital, A capital, P small, P small, A capital, A small, P small, P small, A capital, A small, P small, P small, A small, A small, P capital, P small, A small, A small, P small, P small. That means the dominant character appear at the presence of two dominant different genes, A capital, B capital. But at the absence of two dominant different genes, the dominant character is not produced, so the offspring produce, or the ratio of the offspring, 3 over 8 purple and 5 over 8 colorless. 
the next question the next question explain uh, explain an experiment to show that the water is absorbed by the roots and raises through the xylem vessels the question asked about an experiment is that prove that the, water, the xylem vessels are responsible for carrying water and salts from the road to the leaf. Uh, to carry out these experiments, we uh, need uh, the presence of a uh, test tube containing iocene solution and the twig or branch of the plant put in, in the test tube uh, which is surrounded by the piece of cotton that to support the plant and uh, let the plant in or the flowering plant in a, in a place uh, or in a lighter place for carrying out the transpiration. The experiment immerses a young plant roots in the test tube containing iocene solution after cutting the branch of the plant or the twig under the water surface. We understand that because the uh, air bubbles may get inside the xylem vessels and cut the water column and so the plant wilt and can't carry out the experiment or can't carry out the transpiration, transpiration process. Uh, the next point, the uh, close the opening of the tube around the stem of the plant by using the cotton. Keep the tube in a vertical position for a few hours. What about the observation? The veins and the venules of the leaf will stain with the iocene solution. That means the veins of the leaves, uh, of the leaves and the petals of the flowers will be pink. And also, if you take a TS or transverse section of the stem and examine the TS under the microscope, we will observe that the xylem vessels only uh, is stained with the iocene solution that uh, uh, proves that the xylem responsible for the um, carrying water and salts from the root to the leaf and also we understand that the xylem support the stem. The next experiment. Explain Hermann's experiment to show the action of oxygen in the geno geotropism. The Hermann experiments that explain that the action of oxygen in geotropism. As shown in this diagram that the uh, plant which uh, we, w w if we put the plant in a vertical position, the concentration of oxygen as the two sides will be 50%. Per 50%. But if you t put the plant in a horizontal position, that means the concentration of oxygen as the lower side become higher than that of the upper side. The lower side will be 67%, but the upper side 33%. But to prove that, as the horizontal position, much oxygen are diffused into the lower half will be 67%. Leads to an equal growth of the plant parts. That because in the vertical position, 50%. Because there is no stimulus affect the uh, uh, concentration of oxygen or the distribution of oxygen. But in the horizontal position, if you put the growing tip on the two blocks of agar separated by mica sheet, we will observe that the lower part, the lower part of the lower block of, of agar containing 67%, but the upper block of agar containing 33%. So when the plant to grow uh, horizontally, the accumulation of oxygen accelerates the growth of the stem cells and inhibit the growth of the root cells. أعزائي طلبة وطلبات السنة العامة دي كانت نهاية الحلقة الثالثة من مراجعة المراجعة النهائية من اليوم السابع اللي إن شاء الله هتلاقوها على موقع اليوم السابع على قناة اليوم السابع على اليوتيوب إن شاء الله تكونوا استفدتوا وتكون مراجعة إن شاء الله شاملة لكل أجزاء المنهج ونتمنى للجميع التوفيق إن شاء الله شكرا وإلى اللقاء إزاي تنجح وتجيب مجموع وأنت قاعد على الإنترنت اليوم السابع بيقدم أقوى مراجعات نهائية للثانوية العامة لنخبة من أفضل المدرسين اتفرج وذاكر وانجح وجيب مجموع بالفيديو على اليوم السابع